Uh, welcome, welcome back to Wine for the People. I'm your host today, <laughs> and today we're doing the first, hopefully, of many drafts, mm. similar to a sports draft in the way football and basketball teams draft their players. Uh, we will be drafting anything and everything wine related that we can possibly draft from because content is king in this society. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, so, into it. The way it True. works is I chuck all of our names into a generator and it spits out an, a draft order. Yep. And snake draft rules apply, which means whoever in the first round goes first. They whoever goes last in the first round goes, goes first, first in the, in the next round. round. And, yeah, it's a classic and then, boomerang. So, yeah. Yeah. So front bang, to back, bang, back to front, front bang, to back, back bang. to front. Yeah. Front yeah. to bun. Front to bun. It's my favourite part of the human body, the yeah. bun. What what are <laughs> what what's everyone's right. goals going? To okay, like what are the, what's so, the focus so of it? you can yeah. you can play a variety of ways. Yeah. I like to take the chaos approach, which is taking varieties that I know you guys are gonna want. But what's the point of the draft? Is to to accumulate the best, so you get four picks, and the goal is to make the most appetizing draft list possible because these lists will then be put like out to the audience. List. Oh, yeah. the and then they will pick who, who had the best draft list. Yeah. Okay. We so don't know what the, we no, don't we don't know what the prize is yet. For now, it's just bragging rights. But maybe the first to three draft glory. wins. Just sheer just glory. Glory is worth more than any bottle of wine. Okay, I respect that. All right. So the way it works with the picks is as soon as a variety has been picked, it is off the table. Yeah. Okay. So you cannot. Pick, and I will have none of this. Someone pick Shiraz. Someone pick Syrah. There will be <laughs> no uh, synonyms. So synonyms. None of this. Yeah, no. <laughs> but <laughs> I will. I will endorse a Pinot Gris Pinot Grigio situation. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. It's the you same can't. thing. It's okay, the same thing. then never mind. <laughs> but you can no. But you can do like Grenache Gris Blanc. You can do Pinot Gris different, Pinot Noir. Like they different, different varieties. Grape varieties. Yeah, but if yeah. if you're just calling the same thing by a different name, I want none of it. It's cool. cheating in my eyes. Okay. I like it. All right. Yeah. So I have got random.org circa 1998 ready to go. And because there are five of us, Lockie is a silent participant. He will just shout out his draft picks and I will... Ah, ah there he is. <laughs> and I will chuck him, chuck him into the list. And, and hopefully he's here to bring as much chaos as I am. Okay. All right. So because there are five of us, we will randomize this list five times. And okay, I will read out each pick. Like each each run, so okay, so yeah. you know that if you were first and you've been robbed of that first place draft pick, it does cause pain. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Round one. Um, Gemma, Lockie, Brendan, Henry, Noah. Oh, mm, five rigged. motherfucker. Yeah. Two. Lockie, Noah, Henry, Brendan, Gemma. Number three. Noah, Henry, Lockie, Gemma, Brendan. Mm. Four. Henry, Noah, Lockie, Gemma, Brendan. You are getting stuck right at the end, aren't you? Yep. And number five, Noah, Lockie, Henry, Brendan, Gemma. <laughs> All right, well, so that's the order we're doing. That that's is the order. The order. So Noah gets first pick. Uh, so oh, Lockie. do I get first pick? You get first pick, then Lockie, then Henry, then Brendan, then I get wow. last. Which Damn. I wanted I wanted first pick so I could immediately come in and just just Swoop. fuck shit up. Ruin okay. it. But wow. it's not going okay. to go. work tough. that this way. Is, I, like, now I know right. how it feels to like have the first round draft so, pick if you're like actually at Noah. like running a sports team. Yeah. Whereas like this is a lot of pressure. Like there is, you, there is clearly an obvious yeah, answer. You could, first like, pick. Yeah. yeah. If you I, don't pick this, you're an idiot. Yes. Well, I feel like I could do like the whole, um, you know, sometimes there's an obvious like, you know, number one draft pick mm. and mm. sometimes there's a sneak. Like Michael oh. Jordan didn't go number one. No, no. So, no, that's so true. there's that's like true. Tom, like was it Tom Brady went equivalent of pick, equivalent of like pick number 300 yeah, or something one stupid of the last like that. In the draft. Mm. Yep. So mm. I'm like, I know this, we're going to go here. I feel like there might be a clear obvious one, but I'm going, I'm going to go off the rails. I I'm gonna go Riesling as pick one. Ah, uh, so, uh, okay, you prick. I think I'm. I think my play is gonna to have to be deep cuts that no one's gonna think of, and yeah. then as soon as I say it, I'm going. I'm going Riesling for sheer versatility, like right. dry, yeah. sweet, young, oxidative, old. young, old, yeah. um, botrytized. You've got 
um, f- sparkling if you want. You want some sect? Get some sect in you. Mm. Like, you know, that's why I'm get going Riesling. Like, you know, like, you know, if we're talking in a sports coat, Riesling is coach's favorite. It get You get exactly what you need from Riesling mm. day in, day out. Like, just like absolute. Yeah. I've really, I've really come around to Riesling. As when I started on the channel, I said, don't give me any acidity, just give me water. I'm now. Give Riesling's me- <laughs> kind of water, but it's also acidity. Yeah. It's yeah. as much acidity as I'm willing to bear. <laughs> Mm. So, all right, all right, Lockie, with your pick, uh, Chardonnay. Chardonnay, Shit. Shit. that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Got, that was that's yeah. the obvious one. Yeah, that was the obvious one. I had that yeah. for pick. I had that for yeah. pick number two. Got the... I'm going to really start struggling here because I'm down to not many. Picks <laughs> <left>. <laughs> yeah, but it's like yeah, Chardonnay's with that one was like when it's great, like champagne, yeah. it's unbelievable. When it's great, Burgundy, it's unbelievable. Stuff mm. like yeah. that. Yeah, I, th- I thought that for your love of Chablis, you were potentially going to be going down the Chardonnay. Well, no, there's no man that loves Chablis more in this room than Lockie, so I let him have that. But yeah. now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a little bit outside the box. I'm looking for a good yeah. team. I think one of the most uh-huh. iconic uh-huh. moments as the Unico staff was when we were out at a Christmas show, uh, or would have been like a year or two ago now. And Lockie was relatively fresh on the scene. Didn't have a huge amount of wine knowledge. We were sitting outside that cool wine bar. On Hellbound. 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 Yeah. And Brendo just gave the list to Lockie. And <laughs> run wild with yeah, it. yeah. Lockie orders uh, Premier for a Chablis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and Lockie, so Lockie just good. looks through one Chablis. is just like, yep, tick. <laughs> we like, did yeah. that. We did that last year at Long Play. You handed me the right. wine list and I picked the reserve like 2021 Ashton Hills Pinot Noir. Yeah, and, I'm like, uh, I'll have Gemma one of those. Jimmy picked one night as well. That was yeah, one that was too. easily one. Very it impressive. was so good. It was so good. All right, Henry with pick number three. Okay, so as a GM, uh, general manager <laughs> of this wine group, I think that I need to be worried about... <laughs> I need to be worried about cohesion. I need to be worried about who's going to be a good person in the locker room, who's going to bring people together. Yep, yep, yep. And we've recently discovered, or no, it's not something that we've recently discovered, but we've recently come around to the idea that if you've got a little bit of a problem with a wine and you want to just make it agreeable to the masses, (laughs) there is a really obvious option to what you need to blend into this. So for my first pick of the round, this might be controversial given my drinking tastes. I'm taking Merlot straight off the board. (laughs) Yep, 100%. Yeah, I love it. It I really love it. It's really good. It wasn't even on my draft board. No, I think it's a reach. I think I probably could have got Merlot a little bit later in the draft. Some of the most expensive wines in the world are Merlot, man. Yeah, no, like Merlot is the role player of grape varieties. You need, like you, you don't, pick Merlot straight away, but you need Merlot if you're going to like win a championship exactly. or win a flag or something like that. You need Merlot. Exactly. And I'm playing to my strengths here in the sense that I don't know anywhere near as much about wine as some of the people in this draft, but I know a lot more about basketball and I feel like Merlot can be a good point guard for my team. <laughs> Merlot's, like, Merlot's, Merlot's like Steve Kerr or like Scotty Pippen or something like that. Exactly. Like, you know, like un- underrated, but can pull. Like when, when Merlot's doing like Pomerol, you're like, oh my God, like the rightest. Yeah, very happy with it. Welcome to the team, Merlo. All right, Brendan. Oh, just because I'm a capitalist and everyone slept on a Pinot Noir. Oh, Fuck, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you've gone yeah. for the, the X Factor player. Yeah. Right. Jugular every time. <laughs> okay. Let's go. So with, with the <laughs> picks we've got so far, Riesling, Chardonnay, Merlot, and Pinot Noir, three of the six I had written down <laughs> <laughs> are gone. Well, you're going to have a great time. Um, which is why I know. Which it's means why three still exist. It's, yeah, well glass half full Come yeah on. but i need four picks so i'm gonna have to pull one out of my arm all right you get two in a row here so row. with pick with pick number pick pick number one for me i think i'm gonna go with one that's not my favorite by a long shot but i know other people in the room will pick it so i'm taking nebbiolo yeah. i thought yeah, i thought that's what you were doing here that was actually like next because I, sure. I knew someone would really want nebbiolo yeah. on their draft yeah, board and I, I knew that i could take it i had <laughs> fuck brendo written down next to nebbiolo on, my, on my big board yeah. i also feel Stick like brackets. nebbiolo is like you know if we're talking about a player like nebbiolo takes a while to kind of come to into its own like it's For got sure. a lot of potential yeah. but yeah. it takes a while to get to its height but once it's at its height it is unstoppable so mm. in that with me having the last pick i also get the first pick of the next round going strong with some some unico deep cuts i'll take fiano <laughs> man you are starting fires yeah ta- you've just been targeted. But I have the next one right uh you do have the next pick okay mm. okay so I do love i've already got choice. pinot noir you do have pinot noir I've got, I've got, I know what I want for my third pick. 
and Push. I don't want to. I don't want okay. for fear that I might miss out on this. So okay. considering I've got the next crack at it, I'm going to go Grenache. Grenache. Yeah, great shout. Absolutely it. great shout. Yeah. Damn it! Hi, I've, on my I've board. got an idea of how I want to build this. Team. Yeah, it's it's the good thing. It's like you know you've got like Grenache is you know when it's a dry red, it's elite, but also it's got that sneaky rosé capability as well, mm. yeah. which is really cool. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, similar to the whole, like, I actually thought when you were describing, before you said Merlot, I thought you were about to say Grenache. Because mm. I thought Grenache, when you blend it into other things, it just kind of makes it kind of all work together as mm. well. And I think you've got kind of got, you know, a width and variety of different styles within Grenache, I think could, could play pretty well. If you think Gren if you could compare Grenache to like a classic AFL player, uh, who would you who would you side up? With? Nah, you, up so with you definitely want someone who has like played, you know, as like oh, it's kind of like. Um, I guess like uh, a Scott Pendlebury, mm. whereas like he has been like just consistent and incredible for his entire career. But now he's getting a little bit older. You can't really, you need him to play a different role. So he's, they've moved him to halfback and like at a halfback is like less important, but mm. also everything you get out of him at halfback is unbelievable. More blue fruited than red fruited these days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. a, little, yeah, a little bit bruised. Yeah, a little bit right. bruised. So with your second pick, with, Henry. With my second pick. Okay. Okay. So we've got Merlot as the sort of holding everyone together. Now, I think we do need someone to add a bit of... What are we doing here? As, as a GM, ultimately this is an entertainment <laughs> product, right? So I need to sell tickets. I need people yeah, in right, the door. Yeah, fair. yeah. yeah. bums on seats. You need so, a real bums on seats, great. I, and I, I'm not necessarily gonna assemble a title contending team from the third slot, but what I might wanna do is just sell a lot of jerseys, get a lot of people in and with my second pick of the draft, and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna read a quote here from a review from <laughs> uh, this was this was a recent review, Yummy Mummy from Frankston, um, a symphony of youthful folly. Ah, what an unexpected delight! This vintage offers an intoxicating aroma of dewy grass and a lingering hint of adolescent adolescent revelry. This is savvy on, on the palate. It presents an effervescent burst of reminiscent of forgotten youthful exuberance transitioning me into days of my past. And with big two in my draft, I'm taking passion pop, baby. Oh, I'm taking passion yeah. pop. I'm getting what? people in the door. But what's, what's the variety? That is a sparkling field blend. It's not, it's not a champagne. <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. It's got to be a variety. Yeah, it's field be a great blend variety. does not wine. count. Can I have watermelon flavored passion pop? Because that's a real product. You, you basically, I, I imagine, I imagine passion pop is probably the same as Gordo. Probably. Yeah, so you're taking Zabibo. Are oh, you bastard? Also on my draft board, so yeah, I'll, 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 take, I'll, 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 I'll allow that. Yeah, it's a big one. I was going yeah. to yeah. take Fruity Gordo. The future, so that's, that's, that's the future of this league is the kids, and the kids like the sweet. Yeah, so. but it's like, sorry, I was just going to say, I love that. Like so far, Henry has like the ten dollar like bargain bin, but he's got Zabibo. <laughs> and Merlot. He's got a ten dollar Merlot. <laughs> and a ten dollar Zabibo. We're a, we're a blue collar hard <laughs> work. You're, you're playing Moneyball. I'm Brother, playing you're money playing Moneyball. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, so fucking get, Billy Bean of wine. I mean, he gets <laughs> on base. That's what happens, man. He gets on base. These are on lists. Thank you very much. <laughs> what we like about him, he gets on base. Couldn't be happier. All right. With your second pick, Lockie, what, what you got for us? Oh, shit. Um, oh, fuck. You could either fuck Noah over a little bit. You could. Noah's no, up no, there. I'm, 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 yeah, what do you got? Do it. Got? I actually, I won't, and I'm going to stay with, like, kind of, like, the cool... In my mind, I'm, I'm like, creating, like, a cool, like, French kind of thing. Okay, so themed. I might go, like, Gamay. Is Beaujolais Gamay? Yep. Yeah. Gamay? Yeah, Great shout. Good job. Nice. Great shout. That's Good a great job. shout. Real, real work help, real work, workhorse, real, like, um, uh, fan favourite. Like, everyone loves Gamay. Like, mm. All right. good stuff. Strong, Noah. What's your second pick? Okay, so so far I've got Riesling. I've got Mr. Versatile. Mm. I got like it does everything. Now I need a bit of um, I need a bit of X Factor. Mm. I need a bit of uh, something special. But I also I also I want some consistency. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Syrah. Syrah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not what I yeah. thought you were gonna go roll like, with. That's interesting. interesting. But cool. like, so you're really just going for um, just the Australian classics. <laughs> Yes, also French and German, but you know, whatever yeah, you say. Nah, but like, nah, nah, yeah, nah. Nah. yeah, so uh, you know, Syrah put Australia on the map. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. But when, when you taste amazing Koro tea or mm. Hermitage or Saint Joseph, it is 
absolutely unbelievable. Haven't mm-hmm. been there, yeah. haven't mm-hmm. done that. Yeah, it, like you know, if we're talking it's about gnarly. AFL players, Sarara is almost like your Marcus Bontempelli's. <laughs> he's always good, but when he's great, he is the so best. much better. Yeah, I think he's more of a Patrick Dangerfield to be honest, because at his best he's excellent, but also most Geelong supporters fucking hate him most of the time. <laughs> so so if kick a goal, a... mate. Kick it straight. If you're a viewer and you're not from Australia or you don't participate in the um, AFL, a lot of this is going out yeah. the window. No, we've done a bit of uh, NBA chat. Um, we're, we're all global here. Yeah. So if you can get into the golf sect, that would be great. Into the golf sect. Just move it around. Yeah. But uh, you uh, also yeah. have you have the next pick, Noah, so you can go back to back. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's good. Mm. Yeah, you got some big gaps here. The boomerang. Um, all right, so I've got Sarah, I've got Riesling. Um, what else do I want? I want, I want, I want, I need, I need a player with like a long career. Like someone that can stick around. You've you taken, need a Tiger Woods. Like but, yeah, but I've already got Riesling. That can go forever. Mm. Um, oh, you know what? I've got, oh, I've got another one. I've got another one here. Um, s- sneaky, real sneaky. Like no, no one's thinking about this, but when it can make some of the best wines in the world, some of the most unique wines in the world, um, but it's also got bums on seats character. Mm. Sauvignon Blanc. Fuck, dude. Oh my God, that was my steal for later. So, like, you know, like <laughs> Interesting. Sauvignon yeah. Blanc just captures yeah. hearts and minds. You know, people love Sauvignon Blanc. It's, you know, one of the most commercially viable grape varieties going around mm. New Zealand, obviously, mm. but when you taste Great Sunset, mm. when you taste Chateau de Kim, you know mm. it's like mm. absolute pinnacle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm talking... Interesting. I know that Sav Blanc's probably received a call from your draft room and is really excited to be drafted by Noah. Uh, but just to throw a bit of a spanner into the works of the tank chemistry of my opposition here, uh, did you not once describe Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand as, quote, the scourge of the wine world? <laughs> <laughs> That's not... <laughs> say- <laughs> oh, hey, I'm just saying, man, they're on your team now. It's true. It's true. Uh, it's a yellow card. <laughs> yeah. Locker room problems. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure there's NBA players that I could like online that too. I wish I was better versed. Trey Young. Trey Young. Yes. Trey Young. <laughs> um, but it's also... Also, like um, the scourge of the wine world is it's um, the fact that it's everywhere. Mm. It is like it's you can't you can go avoid into any restaurant, yeah. any bottle shop, yeah. any bar, and get yeah. a glass like, of Sauvignon cheap Blanc. Shit, Sauvignon Blanc is terrible, but um, the thing about Sauvignon Blanc, Blanc the thing, but people, thing, but people, older, people like it. The thing about Sauvignon Blanc is when it's bad. It's really bad. Yes. Like it's, yeah, it's like dirty pool water. It can, it can, but it can, it's it, so it, like, you know, bad. not going to say, not, not, not going to lie, you know, uh, Sauvignon Blanc can get demoted to, you know, like um, not an MLB status. It can, can go down to the twos. <laughs> double A, triple A. It can, it can go down to double A, triple A. It can play some of that baseball. But when you, once it's, you know, in the MLB, it is hitting homers. Mm. It is bang. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Lockie, your third pick. Shannon. 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 You well, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I understand. Like, Shen- I, like, I love Shannon. I absolutely sh- love Shannon, but I've already got Riesling on my team. I don't need another, like, ultra versatile you're, light. You're really, you've got a theme going. You're going real French. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. It's the French and Shannon. Fuck, that's a good team. That's a good team. That's, that's a, a good team. team. <laughs> I want to be on that team. I hate my team. I went for the I went for the mean team and I regret it. Second pick's a good spot to be in. Lockie's crushing this noise. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, not on camera yeah. currently doing very well. Uh, your right. third pick, Henry. Your team of Merlot, Zabibo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what? Yeah, He's playing Moneyball. What's happening next? 100%. Um, Columbard. So we are playing Moneyball. So the way that, the way that I, I'm, I'm imagining my, it, not only is it now a sports team, I'm now thinking about like, what sort of restaurant? Like, is this the wine list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, Sugar. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So I, I'm thinking that this is Edamoga Pub. At the moment, <laughs> at the moment, this would be the equivalent of like a uh, Chuck E. Cheese or a Wiggly Worm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Wiggly Worms. Wiggly is good. Worms. Wiggly Chuck E. Worm. Cheese is also great. I've gone in. I've gone in for things that you've got something for the parents. You've got something for the kids. This is absolute Weatherspoons. A hundred percent. So I've got the sort of Merlot for the. Every man who comes in looking after the kids doesn't really want to be there, watching the racing on their phone, no worries. Then the kids in the playground, it's a Bebo baby, that's racy, that's fun. The kids on the playground are getting down to Passion Pop. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> what else did I do? Uh, another quote from uh, my Passion Pop reading Operation Passion Pop was launched by the New South Wales Police in 2008 to scourge uh, to try and curb underage drinking. So, yeah, 100%. The kids are drinking Passion Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Wine number three. So, I've got the parents covered, I've got the kids covered, but there's also going to be the odd grandparent coming through. Yeah, right? true. Oh, oh Christ. And showing that the grandparents, I reckon, are going to want... They're going to want some aged semion. 
I was thinking about Semyon. I almost went Semyon with my pick for Savignon Blanc. Yeah. But I was, um, I went at Savvy B, but I, I respect Semyon. Again, you and me, like, you know, we could have that kind of tag team. Sav Blanc and Semyon goes back and forth. Like, mm. we, could, we could get some trades down the line. We're good. Just, yeah. I'm not going to Henry's restaurant. <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> not targeting you, dude. <laughs> I'm not not targeting read you. this wine list. I'm going to be like, fuck that. Not a chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This, is, this is the Punch Bowl Central Pub. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right yeah real, real, real Frankston. Know, this, is, this is every wine list at a TAB. Yeah, yeah. Is, <laughs> yeah I know my audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a Hilux t shirt. Mate, right, like, what are we looking for here? Uh, all right, right, so what have we got? Pinot, Grenache, uh, Norelli Mascarpone. So what was. Oh, you fucker! Ah, oh, damn it! What was your pick, Henry? Uh, Semion. <laughs> Norelli Mascarpone. I love that. Let me your thought process here. So. <laughs> Managing to secure Pinot Noir, mm. unarguably the red variety of terroir. Uh, Grenache, basically, if you don't like Pinot, you're going to love Grenache. Fuck. And so I'm like, well, what's... I can't have Nebbiolo. That would be my other sort of third pick if we're talking yeah. about red yeah. varieties <clears throat> that, that express their terroir really well. Then I can sell for astronomic prices mm. because I'm all, all about the moolah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, like, we've got it secured and locked down with Pinot. We've got it secured and locked down with Grenache. 100%. Like, I don't have Neb. That's fine. I'll Sorry. take I'll take the other neb from Italy. Mm. Interesting. I'll take the one from Southern Italy on the on the, the mouth of volcano, so Norella Mascolo. Um if I knew that it existed, I would have stolen it in picture. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's so, good. Only, pro only problem I'm seeing with yours is that it's very red heavy. You, oh, yeah. you, you, yeah, got no you know, whites. like if you take your team out of for certain conditions, say you put it in the peak of summer forty two degree day, it's like your team no is one's gonna, taking no one there. Grenache rose. Oh yeah, Pinot that's that that's it. Yeah, okay, there you go. Rose. Sparkling, sparkling Pinot, sparkling Blanc Pinot. Noir. Yeah, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I've I've uh, I've changed my gameplay. Okay. Um, I don't like my picks so far. <laughs> um, I think for the person whose idea it was to do a varieties draft, I feel like I'm doing a pretty piss poor job. That's good. Which is fine. Fiano's. You're doing great. You've got Nebbiolo and you've got Fiano. I love Fiano. But you got I, them for bad reasons. You I, think from the soul. What do you want? My soul wants to see my friend suffer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it in a con in oh, a content sense. Okay. So I've decided to go with something far, far, <laughs> far out of left field, mm. and I'm now putting in my comedy pick. Okay. And my comedy pick is Tintororas because I want to make some Tawny Port. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. This is good. This so is good. I Nebbiolo, like it. Fiano, and Tintoreris. Yeah, Tintoreris for Tawny Port. Mm. This is good. I yeah. like it. You know, it's like you've got you've got something that nobody else has got. Yeah, I feel like the but people at the TAB really fucking. Want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it, man. Yeah, they don't know people pay an arm and a leg for Tawny Port, man. And like, mm -hmm. while I don't mm -hmm. like it, it feels like I'm drinking heat. Long longevity. It, it, it as lasts. Well. No one hates Tawny Port as well. And mm. like, you know, you can make a dessert with it. I think maybe yeah. it's got those funny little glasses, yeah. which are just like wine glasses that they were put in the honey. I shrunk the kids machine. Mm. Um, and I just really like what, what Tawny Port has to offer, but I couldn't pick Tawny Port because that is not a variety. So I had to Google <laughs> what varieties <laughs> make <laughs> Tawny Port. But good. that bleeds into my next pick, okay. which is, well, now I've got, I've got a few things I could do here. Mm. I could keep playing the comedy game and pick one thing, which, which can also be used to make Tawny Port. <laughs> <laughs> just goes to it goes to Reagan National. It's, it's yeah. monopoly, I'm baby. a Tawny Port Empire. <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't make Tawny Port, I don't want it. Um, or I could go uh, keep keep on the. Actually, quick question about my third pick: mm. Is it Italian? No, it's Portuguese. No, it's oh, Portuguese. Fuck. That's why it's called Port. Port. Portuguese. What? Ah, yeah. Fuck. Didn't know that. How would I have known that? Do, do you know what? Portugal and Italy. It's in the name. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Where, well, Port, they're, not Portugal. They're sort of. It's Porto. It's from the town of Porto. It's from the town of Porto. I thought it was. Portugal. It's called. Oh, I totally thought it was. It's the first thing when I'm going to. You don't. Do, do you realize that we can't, thought, you know, we can't call it Port in Australia anymore? Oh, oh. It's, no. like a, it's like champagne. It's fortified. Yeah. Oh, fortified shit. I thought it was like a, a, a say, like a pirate thing. Yeah, I thought it was a say, like a pirate thing. 
<laughs> like I drink the, the drink yeah, drink the port on my boat and yes, my my bounty in doubloons. Right where the oh, fuck. pirates. But it's back. sort of near <laughs> Italy, so it's sort of basically sort of the Italy. same. Yeah. It's sort of basically the same thing. So I'm gonna keep going with my Italian theme of Nebbiolo Fiano, Italian Portuguese wine, and go with Tariga. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, how do we unpack this? No, I'm, I'm glad you said Italian Portuguese because then yeah. it makes sense. Because when you yeah. said Italian and then you said Tariga, I was like, what the fuck just happened? No, no. I said my Italian Portuguese yeah. draft. Portuguese. Yeah, okay, I like it. So, so it's it's Tariga. What's Tintura is? You just it's said it was Portuguese. No, it's a grape variety. Yeah, is, is a separate grape variety. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, because that also came up in the list of wines, but they only use apparently very small amounts of Tariga to make Tawny Port, but it can be used to make Tawny Port nonetheless. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I've got I've got your starting wine, Fiano. Started off mm. with your entrees and your you know your fish courses, beautiful. Move into your meat course with your Nebbiolo, beautiful. Stunning. And then round it out with your dessert course with not one, but two different types of fortified wine. 100% liquid dessert. Liquid dessert. It's probably a high enough ABV you could set it on fire, so pour it over a Christmas pudding. Well, then mix it with something and pour it over your Christmas pudding. (laughs) (laughs) Bit of brandy. I was really confident going into this that I was going to have a really great draft board. And I'm really disappointed <laughs> in how you this really has turned it's, out. It's gone rogue. It's all right. It started off amazing and then it's gone real But rogue. I'd actually go to the TAV before coming to your restaurant. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. No, I'd, I'd go to the restaurant. I just know what I'm ordering. I'm ordering the Evan yeah, Fiano. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but I've got something for the old folks. Which I'm not. Which well, good. yet. Yes. You will yes, be. Yet. So when you're too old to be hitting up old mate's Chuck E. Cheese, come around to my joint. I'll sort you out with some tawny pork. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brendan, what you got? Brendan. All right, so we've got Pinot, Grenache, Norello, Sangiovese. <sighs> it's lack, of, lack of white here. That is a, a way. List. <laughs> yeah. But I tell you what, like the hits keep Come on coming. On. Just saying, I can buy all the white I want. Yeah, all right, money 100%, bags, Jesus. but yeah, you know, I've just made all the money. Yeah, you're, you're currently like the Dodgers right now. You've just spent a lot of cash. Yeah, but <laughs> yep. who, who's yep. got... Who's got the best for the export market? Me with the Australian tawny pork. Do you know how much Sangiovese gets sent around the world? Damn! Nah, I'm. Nah, I'm. I think if I'm. No, I no. I think I've got the most exportable draft list. I vehemently disagree. That's the number one place of variety in the world. Brandon's just like a monster kind of like you go no. there, you have some fucking yeah he's got good fellas yeah, yeah. brother's there's got good fellas be, there's gonna be a change and I'm gonna start mm. a movement mm. and and all the young kids will be getting on Tawny Port mm. so much inspired by Unica with your list there I like that well no they were petty picks because I wanted to make sure you didn't get them mm. <laughs> <laughs> so all Henry right. your f- fourth and final pick final pick yeah look um, oh, I've only got four picks. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, how am I going to round this Merlot's Vivo semi on <laughs> quartet out? Uh, <laughs> That's a perfect blender. Like, yeah, exactly. Together, mate. Well, it's funny you should say that because I think similar to our discussions about Merlot, we've got another, <laughs> we've got another great varietal that we love as a sort of flex tape, just like, you got a problem? Flex tape? Bang. <laughs> Bang. You got an issue and this can't solve it. You got a bigger issue than oh, I know how to handle it. You know what's coming. It's coming. Yeah, you know what's coming. The final pick, it smells like light cheese. It tastes like light cheese. It's basically light cheese. Give me that converse trainer, baby. Henry's Island. team gets on base. Yeah, <laughs> he, gets on base. he gets on base. 100%. There's not, none of these wines are anyone's okay, okay. favourite. Just, just at least three of your like picks could basically create esoterico. It's Australia's best-selling wine. <laughs> <laughs> According to us. It's the, world's, yeah. it's the world's most popular orange wine. It's your favourite hipster's wine's favourite hipster's wine. Yeah, exactly. Real, yeah, your, fav- your player's favourite player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Lockie, your final draft pick. So far, you've got Chardonnay, Gamay, Shannon. Yeah, Fuck, he's got the cool fucking hipster natural Jackie, wine bar list. Your pencil. Yeah. Hectic. All right, so I've, I've thought about it. 
And there's like one that I could do that I think is like super popular and would be like really good. Mm. But I think I'm going to go from the heart. Because okay. so far, those, are, those three... Swear are I made favorite. my mistake. Yeah. My mm. favorite mm. variety. So I'm just going to say fuck it. I'm just going to go for my favorite red variety, which is narrow. Oh, cool. I can't. I cool. I like it. You've got that beast. Oh, this is good. That's a. Oh, oh, he's I want a strong. List. I want to drink. Look, he's got bar. the strongest list. I've. I oh, feel like I got. Strong. I got. I got bounced by the the draft order, and I feel like I could have. You could have basically chosen <sighs> anything after the first one, Gemma. Listen. And you didn't choose any of them. Why didn't you do that? Listen. Why didn't you choose Grash? Why didn't you? Choose because Gra Grash Blanc? did. Because they. I didn't think of them. Mm. My Good initial, point. my initial list, yeah. my initial list was Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Viano, Riesling, Shannon. So I got absolutely. Yeah. If you had, all if, the if, if, yeah. So I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna have picks one through four. When you guys have the rest. And then it just it chaos ensued, and yeah. I have regrets. Yeah. But I need I need to live with my mistakes, and hopefully that I may not have the best draft board, but I was the best drafter in the audience's yeah. heart, and I think that counts for a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's so no, with today. the final pick of the of the event, I'm going for a real real sleeper, someone that yeah wasn't wasn't on the table, bit of a bit of a deep cut, but you know the the real ones. No, I'm going with Frappato. 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 Yeah. This is a it is a great variety from Sicily. Um, it is light. It is juicy. It is it is right, good acid. It is floral. It is fucking awesome. Mm. But it's not you know you when you think about grapes you don't think about frappato. But when you have it you're like well oh, no because it sounds like something I would order at Gloria Jeans. Hey I just want caramel frappato. Thanks. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> don't burn the beans. <laughs> I'm gonna do a frappato chino. Frappato, right. yeah, frappato Cup, yeah, yeah sparkling frappato. Right. frappato. Well, we've so had that once and it was awful. Horrible. Maybe that's why we're to it. It was awful. So that was the final pick. Yeah. That was the final pick. So what happens now, Gemma? What happens now is I read out everyone's lists mm -hmm. and the audience, once this has been posted, there'll be a hopefully a poll in the comments if that's something we can do. Do it on Discord. Discord. Discord, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, on get on Discord, Discord and, we'll and you can vote for your favorite draft board. I have a board. whole separate channel built that's just for drafts. Just for drafts. Hell yeah. yeah. And and give us recommendations of drafts you want to see. We can do, like, we could do regional varieties. We can do regions. Mm -hmm. We can do Australian wine brands. We can do... Start talking about, like, soil. Soil so, type. There aren't volcanic. that many yeah. soil yeah. types. Fucking volcanic. I want basalt. <laughs> Where's my basalt? We can make it festive. Best Christmas wines. I think mm. I'll be right back up there with Tawny Port. So I'm keeping that one in my back pocket. Yeah, Henry needs to go pick one for that one. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. Our, our, our picks are as follows. Noah with Riesling, Syrah, Sav Blanc, and Frappato. Mm. Shut up and play the hits. Lockie, Lockie with arguably the best, the best picks. Chardonnay, Gamay, Shannon, Nero Davila, which real, is real, just real contemporary. a stupid good Real, draft real contemporary. Uh, Henry with <laughs> Merlot, Zabibo, Brackets, Gordo, Brackets, Passion Pop, Passion Pop. <laughs> uh, Semyon, and Gewurz. But he gets, over the he gets on base. <laughs> he gets crazy on work. base. That's crazy work. <laughs> uh, Brendan uh, with Pinot Noir, Grenache, Norello, and Sangiovese. Mm. White, and no, not a white inside. I drink Riesling. What can I have? <laughs> Get out of and, my and <laughs> I like acidity. You, you know, it, yeah. saving the best for last. Mm. Uh, my draft list with Nebbiolo, Fiano, Tintoritz, and Tariga. <laughs> Why don't we just start I'm not gonna lie, you had a reasonable then just unhinged Gemma comes out towards the end. You 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 had us in the you had us in the first half. You had us in the first half. I had yeah. such a plan. I had such a plan. I was gonna come in first pick Riesling. I was gonna come in second pick Pinot Noir, and then really hit Brendan with the old one-two Nebbiolo Fiano. Mm -hmm. And so it it's, didn't. It's just work. like it, it is really like telling Michael Jordan. It's like if you're like at number. If you're at pick eight in the draft, we'll come get you there. Yeah, yeah. It's just I like really, it's never but, gonna be I, there. I was hoping <laughs> I was hoping I could I could I could get everyone with the Nebbiolo Fiano picks and just 
fuck the room over. No. It wasn't no. it wasn't an intentional um I picked these to mess with you. I wanted to mess with the room. Yeah. I suppose it sort of highlights as well like just how diverse the world of wine is because we could continue to do four more rounds and we could probably even come up with four more picks per person quite comfortably. Like sure you, you, uh, you I would start googling. I mean I have I started googling in round 3. Mm. <laughs> so but still, like, like that that therefore like you've got so much scope to continue Sort of going on with these sort of things, you could you could mm. nail it to white or nail it to red. Mm. Um, I'm stoked with my my uh, Goodfellas lineup. Yeah, yeah you should be. Yeah, it's good. good. Yeah. We'll have it. We'll have it listed in in and tell us in the YouTube comments. If you're not on Discord, you should be on the Discord. But if you're mm -hmm. not, tell us in the comments. We'll have them in the description. Hopefully, what everyone's final picks were. Mm. Um, and tell us what drafts you want to see because I want to keep doing this forever and ever maybe we'll even do a potato draft one day if we're feeling oh we could do like best wine pairing meals mm -hmm. we could do all sorts mm -hmm. the draft opportunities mm -hmm. are endless yeah. <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm just looking at round one and like merlot really stands out like, <laughs> <laughs> riesling chardonnay <laughs> peanut <laughs> wine, maybe I'll, uh, <laughs> hey, it's noah it's noah tin to a ritz <laughs> yeah but it's also like you didn't want you didn't want that to not be on your team. You, no, you know, you, no, you've got to have I need it. Got to have I need it right now. You got yeah. two. You got the Gewurz and the Merlot. So yeah, you the holding the everything holds. together. There's a I mean, I tell you what, I'll, I, I want to <laughs> hang out in your locker room. Yeah, it well, would be fun. the best locker room. You'd have a yeah. You're you about the culture. All, yeah, you guys you're are all about culture. You're getting to bed at eight o'clock the night before. You're doing like yoga and stuff. We're smoking cigarettes at half time in my <laughs> locker room. Mad, Mad Monday would be absolutely unbelievable. 100%, unbelievable stuff. 100%. I feel like my my locker room has like wood veneer walls, thick carpet, and just a singular armchair. What are you doing in my locker room? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, which you got a red variety. I don't see yeah. it at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like, I think Tony Poor and I think like. Homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> drinking, drinking four litres of Tony Poor. No, Port every I day. think of my grandfather. Did he have a home? I'm so sorry. <laughs> he built it. <laughs> I mean, cardboard's not that. Fresh in me. Yeah. Oh man, I think Lockie's gonna win this. All right. Lockie's gonna win. Yeah, Lockie, Lockie's, yeah, Lockie's won. We've like but Lockie's got us. like Lockie's got the real just like the the fan favorites there. Uh, tell us what you think. Tell us what what you think the prize should be for winning, because bragging rights are all well and good, but I do like gifts and money. Um. <laughs> Also, if you want to buy us a glass of wine, if you want to buy, you a, glass, buy us a glass of wine, yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Good. tell me at which point you think that I realized that Shannon and Shabley were different things because they were both on my draft board, but like Chardonnay went, I'm like, fuck, they're out the window. <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> oh. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on our first episode of the the drafts, the 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 wine Seven for the went unpicked. Draft. Seven went unpicked. See, we could have kept going, mate. We could have kept going, but we're not. We're stopping now um, because I've made a fool of myself enough for one day. So join us for the next draft. Um, like and comment and subscribe because the more you subscribe, uh, the more chance I have of keeping a roof over my head. <laughs> Just like your grandfather. <laughs> Just like your grandfather. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Ciao.